Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome to your October 15th to the 27th of 2019. Prentice Auto two-week sale flyer. Starts on the Tuesday, October 15th. So, what do we got? Jack up the deals. All right. I can't wait. Well, let's get you situated here a little better and zoomed in a little more. Hopefully there's not too much glare off the lights. So what do we got? Oh, that's actually a pretty good little deal there. Portable 12 volt air compressor inflates standard 15 inch tires in only three to four minutes. That's pretty good actually for $30. It looks like it's got a light on it and stuff. That looks pretty decent. That might be a good thing to pick up, put in the truck. Now my only problem is they don't nearly put a long enough cord on them. It doesn't tell you on there what size of cords on it. So, that's not so good. What on earth is this thing? Drywall sander. Oh, you probably hook your vacuum to that. It's got a light on it, too. Hook your vacuum to it. I think. That's built in. Yeah, I think so. And it sucks the, the dust up, right? Wrecks your vacuum if you don't have a bag in it. Remember that. The drywall dust will destroy a vacuum if you don't have the bag in it. So, what do we got here? Trailer stuff right off the start. Holy smokers. I don't really need any of that stuff. Anyways. I actually have one of these uh, two-piece single axle trailer leaf. No, that's not right. That's for something else. I have a, a kit that I have never used. It was supposed to go on that red trailer that I have back in the back there that I got kind of scared of and I quit using. Uh, yeah, anyways. I got a kit to go from... Uh, shack all like spring to spring so it's got the rocking thing in the middle so but I never did use it I just put them on both solid and it was it was all right but early trailer in <laughs> there's a bunch of lights and hitches and stuff I'm looking for that uh, trailer tires might be all right I want to get a spare for my big trailer but it's a 14 surprisingly on that I could probably put 15s on it but it might actually roll a little better too with a bigger tire, but yeah, I could, you know, I could put a 16 on it probably too, but it might be getting too close to the to the tires rubbing, right? So you have to change where everything's mounted. And, uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's some air compressor stuff. What do we got there? Tire inflators, professional tire inflators. Uh, give me a sec. I'm just gonna close my door in the shed here. It is feel a little better. One second. Close the door. Yeah, that feels better. Uh, only because we have had bear sightings around us here. Black bears. Some really big buggers. And I uh, really don't want one sneaking up behind me. When the door's wide open. Because that's big enough for a, probably a black bear to fit through sideways. But anyways. Uh, yeah, I feel a little better now. <laughs> so we got uh, air regulators. Um, I got one of those already going. So I'm good there. Ooh, engine tools. What do we got here? Valve compressor, ring compressor, oil filter wrenches, more of the wrenches, glaze breaker, a deglazer, strap wrench. Ooh, someone's dinging me. Who's dinging me? I don't know. Um, what else do we got? Bearing packer. I always just use my hand, put grease in there, and just. Turn the bearing and squeeze it until you see it coming out. That works. Bearing race and seal driver kit. Boy, they got all kinds of small tools right now. Spark plug pliers. What on earth do you need those for? Just grab it and rip it. You only get zapped maybe twice. <laughs> Eventually you get used to it. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of neat. Little lockbox. Expensive-ish, though. But it's probably a fairly good size unit. 21 liter. No, I can't be right. 21L. I don't know what that means. I got OBD2 scanners again. I got a nice battery charger. Jack stands. Good for that. Scratch and dent. Ooh, I like them. Ooh, I like scratch and dents. Bondo. Have you ever worked with Bondo before? I didn't realize it got so incredibly hot as it does. Oh, someone's getting on her. Jeez, but run the gears head a little bit there. 
Meep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Anyways, his bike. Scratch and dent, wait a minute. That's not scratch and dent. Is that just an advertisement? Saturday, October 19th. Uh, shop our used, used, dented and repurposed products for amazing prices. Yeah, I would hope so. And we got a three point hitch uh, post hole driller there. Always wanted to try one of those, but uh, never, never did get one. What are they? Seven ninety nine regularly on for six ninety eight hundred bucks off. One hundred doll hairs off. There's a nice LED motion light. That's something I'm gonna have to do on the outside of my shed here soon. Is I put a like, motion light. I do have some to put up. I just have to do the wiring and stuff for it. And uh, I usually like to wait until it's like minus thirty out when I do that kind of stuff because it's awesome. More awesomer that way. No, I'm just kidding. But. Yeah, this usually seems to be with me what happens. So I get just too busy this time of year. I have no time for really messing with my stuff. So, but anyways. Princess Auto. Oh, yeah, they have a catalog cover contest. I've seen this. So this is kind of neat. You can see some of the older catalog covers. Old tractor. Let me get you in here better. Tractors, welders, and stuff from 1973. So it's for their catalog. So they want you to submit something. Must be original and unpublished. Unpublished must be easily transportable. Transportable? Okay. Must be 8.5 by 11 portrait. Must express the theme of inspired by our surplus workshop seasonal trailer and driveline categories. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I don't know if they give you anything. Win $5,000. Woo! Express yourself in a medium. Oh my goodness, express yourself in the medium you want. Make it look vintage style and you could win. Okay, so there's a bit of a, a hitch on that. I'm not good at drawing. I can draw stick peoples and that's really about it. Anyways, I'd never... My sisters, two sisters, acquired some, some artistical abilities. I have nothing. <laughs> no artistic ability at all. Anyways, glad they got it. So what do I got here? Some cords. I'm pretty, pretty good for cords. Hunting stuff. Yeah, I don't do any hunting, so we're not gonna look at that too much. Nine inch aluminum jerky cannon. That doesn't sound very family oriented, it does it. Anyways, carry on. That's kind of a cool welding helmet. It's called Brain Dead. Where are you? Brain Dead. It's got zombies on. Oh my goodness, I can't hold anything straight tonight. I'm sorry. Welding cart. There's that guy, the dolly trailer dolly again. I still wanna, I think it's still cheaper to just buy one of those rather than try to get all the, the tires and everything, cause I don't know. Pro get welding stuff. There's like the little mini cargo mount carrier thingy guy, I guess they call it. Oh, baby. Oh, yawn. These are really good to get because they go in your drill. They have that little quick snap adapter thing. Go in your drill. Get some of those. They're super handy. Actually, there's a, well, it's a short one, but I don't have a long set. I got like a half length set. Um, they, they're pretty good. They're handy if you put them in a drill for doing lots of drilling and screws with stuff. What do we got there? Air, uh, hydraulic air riveter. Hmm. That's... Kind of neat. I never tried one of those before. Don't do much riveting, so wouldn't really need it. Spray gun, spray gun cleaning kit. I have a spray gun. I think I've used it once. I used. Oh my goodness! What's wrong with me? Oh, time for bed. I used it once to spray some uh, white uh, latex paint, and it was all right. But I didn't like it much. <laughs> Anyways, big impact. Big one inch, they sound like a machine gun do, 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 when they're hitting. It's pretty neat. I don't see anything there else I need, but there's some drilling hole saws. There's one of these, I don't know what you call those, uh, multi purpose oscillating tool kit. And then you get all the little cutting ends on it. I don't have one of those either. I don't know if I'd really need one of those for anything. It's good for flush cutting like something off or, you know, leveling, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, there's all your PL glue. If you want good. Construction glue, get this PL Premium 
Uh, no, eight times. Yeah, this one on the end here. Fast grab adhesive, eight times stronger. I think there's even one stronger than that yet, too. And that stuff is amazing. It almost turns into like a plastic. It's weird stuff, but it works good. And it's not that expensive. Uh, $4.99. Starting at, I don't know what the actual price is, but about five, six bucks or something for a tube. It's like thick as peanut butter, too. It's really sticky and globby if you've never used it before. It's really good stuff. And what do we got here? Some cal caulking. Gotta say that right. Caulking. Like Macaulay caulking tools, right? I got some pressure water. No, premium uh, ANTV. That's a job we gotta do soon is uh, preserve our trailer. Gotta do that really soon because it's starting to get cold at night now. I should be probably have it done already, but I haven't yet, so. Ooh, loader solvent. I guess that's for your parts washer. That's expensive enough, too. 50, 60 bucks. You can get away with just paint thinner, too. Works just as well. It smells exactly the same as this stuff, probably. That's what I would probably use next time. Last time I got the safety clean, I think it was solvent stuff, and it smells just like paint thinner. <laughs> this is probably the exact same thing. Anyways, oh, that was our halfway point, by the way. We made her halfway. There's a nice garbage can. Mr. Heater hand warmers. Is that a whole box of them? 40 pack. Wow. You would be smart to get a few boxes of those when you're going to, say, a Santa Claus parade when it's really cold out and sell them for a dollar a piece. There you go. You make like 30 odd bucks on a case. <laughs> That's pretty darn good, because what's, uh, I'm not even going to include the tags, but, uh, oh, oh, hang on, we'll say 15, oh, I messed that up, so they're roughly, yeah, fifth, did I, oh, I messed that up. Hang on a second. I messed it up. <laughs> Divide it by 40. So they're like 37 cents a pack. So that's pretty good profit. <laughs> that's double, doubling your money a bit more if you sold them for a dollar a piece and people would be all over that. You could probably charge almost $2 a piece for those if you really wanted to be greedy. When people's hands are cold and you got something that's going to warm them up for two bucks, there you go, they'll give it to you. It's amazing. But anyways, oh, did we miss anything on that page? I got all excited about the hand warmers, thinking I'm going to make a million. A million dollars. Oh, there's some tarp stuff for hay. Hay tarps? Hey! Hay stack tarps. Disposable bait station. Ugh. Chainsaw holder, trace, store trans. Oh, that's... Different. It doesn't have a whole case, so that's weird. There's a chainsaw. Remington. Ooh, like the like the guns? Maybe. Fuel transfer stuff and some nice of these things. That's alright. Heaters. We're getting to that time of year. Ooh. Radiant tube. Aluminized steel U-tube. Huh. U-tube. With polished aluminum, deep dish reflectors provide uniform heat distribution. Requires Mr. Heater vent kit. Oh yes, of course. That'd be this little guy here. Out the dewy. Doesn't say what it runs off though. It's oh, it's expensive though. Thirteen hundred bucks. I just saw that now. No, I'm good. I got a heater in, in here. We're good for now. That's pretty neat though. A little story guy. Like a rolly, rolly toolbox thing. Uh, it should be alright for the toolboxes. What are those? Metric nut driver set. Ooh, that'd be alright too. More rivet gun, hand rivet stuff. These always look funny to me. These little wrenches are like turned this way. <laughs> Crow foot wrench set. Got one up on my shelf there, and I only needed the one for the slingshot filter. Anyways. 
Composite Digital Caliber. I actually almost need a new one of those, but the one I got it still works pretty good. The other one I got, it got a little bit of welding splash on it, kind of wrecked the screen a bit. Whoops! Forgot to move it. Well, I don't really see much else here. There seems to be a lot of small handy tool stuff this uh, this time around. There's a six-piece ratcheting pipe thread set. This is actually a fairly beefy flyer. 55 pages. Usually it's around 40. We'd be done by now, but anyways, we've got more left. I don't know why. It's not Father's Day or nothing. Usually the Father's Day is like a catalog. But, uh, yeah. Well, some filter things for your pre-filters for your best respirator. No, I don't think I need any of them. My lungs clear out all the dust and dirt. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Oh, what's that? Auto safety and storage kit. That's actually a lot of junk in there. I don't know if we can get that up there to, to show you. Quite a bit of junk in that little kit. Well, we've got a box sort of like this down on the floor here. I keep my towels and stuff in my rag or uh, blue towels because the mice just love those things, little turds. That'll be uh, good for the container when I get my new container here to put stuff in like that and they won't be able to put nests and things anymore, little turds. Because they're rodent free. Can't chew through the metal. Little turds. <laughs> Well, they're selling car seats now. Universal bucket seat with headrest. Oh, they're cover sets. Okay, yeah, they're just covers. I thought they were actually selling seats. No. When I seen the price, I'm like, oh, that can't be for a whole seat. 20 bucks? No. Snow plows, though. Wow, 1900 bucks. Universal mount snow plow kit. Mounts with two two inch front receivers. So you'd have to put a trailer hitch on your truck on the front. And all that strain and stress is going right through that receiver hitch. Wouldn't that just shred that thing right off in front of your truck? I don't like that idea too much. A bunch of LEDs. We're good for that. Oh, here's your straps. I think we're pretty good for straps. I got a whole flipping box of them. Don't need straps. I'm good. I got these. Uh, uh, those are the E-Track e ones, but those are the, the scratch-free towing. They're really good. You can just go right around a, a guy like that. Happy dude to metal cutting bandsaw. Magnetic drill press, $600. I'm good. They have a reversible com plate compactor and a gasoline post driver. That's kind of neat, too. And there's all your electric motor stuff are on sale. That's good. Open and drip proof electric motors. Furnace motors, furnace fan motors. Some hydraulic power packy things there. Hydraulic power packs here too. What is that kind of engine there? It's a, definitely a different one. Basically the shape of the Honda though. <laughs> oh man. Just stealing designs all over, eh? Honda came out with that a long time ago and everybody's copied that sort of, you know, not flat or not straight up, but like kind of slanted design. It's more compact that way, so. Anyways. Ooh, wireless headphones with transmitter. I can transmit to Mars, maybe. Probably not, though. Dash cam. Hmm. Include suction cup mount, USB charger, car charger, and 4 gigabyte SD card. Might be all right, but I'm good. I don't have one in my vehicles. We probably should, though. Ooh, a CB. I can talk to people driving up and down the road. Hey, bud, where you going there, bud? 10 Ford there, bud. What's that engine up there? Manual start snowblower engine. Oh, okay, I see. So that'd be a straight up and down. Not a slanted or a horizontal piston design. Just a little filter wrench. Woo, camo trailer ball mount. That's kind of neat. But I don't need that. We're good. Well, that's our last page. Some trailer stuff and some locks. Some shelving units. And a nice hydraulic press. Huh. Hand cleaner. Gonna need that too. But anyways, that is it for your October 15th to October 27th, just before Halloween. Princess Auto two-week sale flyer. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and happy shopping!